Hi, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Hardcore. I am dying of dehydration. We need to get some water. Now, the difficulty here is getting water filters without doing quests is a little bit harder because you can't take any quest tier rewards to get yourself easy water filters, but it's not too bad because I don't really do that anyway. But yeah, I'm going to wait for the trader to open and get some water so that I can not have a massive stamina penalty while I'm fighting zombies on Insane Nightmare because that is an easy way to die. Uh, then we can go and hunt down a bunch of extra murky water and save whatever I can find to get myself a water filter and then make a dew collector and then, you know, three bottles of water a day is something to keep my character alive, but maybe I want to get a second dew collector at least for that. Because I'm not going to have the kind of insane money that you would normally have in 7 Days to Die to just constantly buy water and coffee from the vending machines. Because quests are your main source of money when you're allowed to do them in 7 Days to Die. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more thoughtful about how I spend the money. And in turn, a little bit more thoughtful about how I get water. Until I get a water purifier helmet mod, in which case, don't have to worry about it anymore. But I didn't even find one of those in the last series, so sometimes the RNG can be very bad, but this time I'm actually looking for one, so hopefully I'll be able to find it a little bit easier. So, I'm gonna sit here and wait for the trader to open and hope a wandering horde doesn't show up. Oh, I'm gonna get into a fight here, it seems like. I don't have the stamina for this shit. Yep, two hits and I was out of stamina. Water is something to very much consider. Found some, uh... Aloe cream in that bag though, so I'll be able to get a bandage soon. You know, I think that might be the only zombie that spawns in there. Maybe we could have a look over here. Nails. Oh, there's another zombie. Just gonna run on top of this truck here and use my bow. That's right, hit the truck. Whoa. Would you come over here, guy? You're being annoying. Would you just hold still, guy? There we go. There's a backpack back here. Uh, nothing of particular use to me though. Backpack in here as well. Armor part, I can sell that at least. Alright, here we are. So I'm gonna waste what money I have on getting some water. What would be the most efficient way to do this? I have enough to buy like one yucca juice smoothie, which would give you 78 water. That seems like it probably is the best way to do it. The more expensive, the better. I can currently afford it. It would also give me some food as well, so that would be nice. And that'll give me basically a full water bar for one drink and a little bit of food. So once that is all inside of me, we will go and clear BY. I'm thinking this barn place next to me might be a good place since it's close. And then there's that house over there and then maybe... I don't want to do the animal hospital because there's a dog in there and sometimes I think there's a wolf as well, but I could maybe survive that with my pipe machine gun, I'm not sure. But let's try and take down this place. You have to be careful here because there's a lot of rooms that do have multiple zombies in them in this POI. So I wouldn't recommend it as a starting POI on Insane Nightmare. But I'm just going to be very careful. we got a large lady in the back there. She shouldn't be too hard to deal with, but be careful. Let's kill this guy first though. Right, I'm down. I think there's three in here usually. There's one of them hiding back there. Try and sneak in here. Might be another one above me. It's her dealt with. Get her to come outside. Now her we have to be more careful with. Because she does twice as much damage as the rest of them. And she's not super fast, but she isn't exactly slow either. So you gotta be careful with your stamina management. She's gonna take a lot of hits to kill. There we go. Someone else is in here, but I'm just gonna go in and wake him up because ladders make it difficult anyway is there no one here i definitely heard one that's concerning there's a bit of murky water that's something at least to be able to turn that into purified water to actually use uh fortifying grip mod i'll just take that sure in fact maybe i should sell almost all of those because they're worth 160 that's not a small amount of money on this challenge let's move into this next one once i've actually got some stamina i'm not even gonna risk the sprained leg here do that okay there's no zombies in this room today cool let me do this Skirt. That is a decent bit of cloth. There's a zombie in this room that's woke up. He has a friend, it sounds like. Couldn't matter too much, though. Oh, he has another friend. Well, that might matter. Oh, I'm sliding. One's down. Come on, take some fall damage for me. 
Looks like the other one burned. That was a good use of a Molotov. Alright. At least this top floor is probably clear. There might be one in this room though. Ah, oh, no one's up. Cool. Check the toilet. Water is gold. Ah, there's loads of cloth in here if I need it as well. Metal helmet. Mushroom seed. Steel armor part. Right, this one is going to be questionable. Usually a few zombies in here. I probably want to just make it to the door and activate that. There, I can escape now and let's drag Mo outside first. Because once you're out of their sound volume, I don't think they can actually hear you. We can just fight as loudly as we want out here, Mo. Who else is in here? There's almost definitely someone in there. I'm surprised that didn't wake them up. Oh, it's another one of her, is it? Okay, let's take on Bo first. Oh, he died in one hit and I didn't wake up the other one running away. That's just good luck. Anyone else hiding in here? Aside from her, obviously, the obvious one. It's like we're clear, so it's just this one last lady who's going to take a million hits to kill. Might want to try my luck at a little bit of a sneak attack with a knife, because that'll get extra damage and get some bleed, but I don't really have the stealth for this. But I'm not hindered by much armour yet, so... Nah, she woke up, fuck. Well, let's get some bleed on her anyway, and run away. Use this fence to my advantage. They struggle with them often. That was close. Could use my bow, but I bet she'll eat all of these arrows. There we go. Right, middle floor clear. Let's have a little loot in here. There's an arrow I left behind. Some metal. I could take these for wood if I need to. Uh, a, s a piece of meat. Hey, it's something. Uh, sink. What do you have? Another sandwich that I would really prefer not to eat, because they damage you anyway, so what's the point, really? Right, this one's going to be hard to sneak into, so I need to make sure I don't get too caught on this door on my way out. That's just going to be a matter of remembering, which is very difficult. Actually quite hard to do that. So, I'm expecting one in there. This could be a place with a biker, so I should be very careful. Let's lure this one guy. I'm trapped on the door. Ow. I suppose that's fair if he can hit me and I can hit him. That's, you know, makes sense to me. Well, that isn't fair though. I can't go through doors. Oh, we woke them all up. Okay. Nope, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh, shit, they got out. Painkiller time, there goes all my water. That went somewhere quickly. <laughs> not to worry. I killed one of them with a fire, though. The health is minimal. The painkillers are not something I worry about managing, because I rarely use them. Just need to let my stamina regen. Uh, the murky water didn't make me sick, so I'm lucky there. Um, Gave me 10 water back from the 40 used for painkillers now. Jeez. But it's fine. We, we got one murky water out of there, we'll replenish that. I thought I had a few more seconds to uh, throw the Molotov, but clearly not. There's a skill point. What am I working towards? Let's get another pummel beat, that would be quite important. Free stamina regen is very valuable. Another one of you fuckers, I'm sick of them. Come here. After you hit these ones, you really have to spin around and sprint, because they have such a ridiculous range on their, like, retaliation hit. Like, they really lunge forward. There we go. Technically, I shouldn't be taking on tier 2 POIs this early on Insane Nightmare, but here I am. Anyone else in here? I imagine you all woke up. Right. Just got some armor, some stock. That'll give me some water and health and food, so that's good. Some slightly better leg armor. Yep. Won't really save me much to have 0.8% less damage, but hey, it's something. Uh, let's see, where's my stone axe gone? Oh, did I put it in a chest? Or am I just being blind? I might have put it in a chest. Maybe I, like, dropped it in a panic, I don't know. Let's see, what do I need? Some plant fibers? Give me two seconds. There we go, I need to make a level two anyway, really. So, it's fine. Yeah, I've got my painkiller back. And a first aid bandage and some fort bites, but fort bites would be suicide right now. Demolitions book, that's helpful. If I can get a workbench and make pipe bombs, that would be very beneficial. So I'm going to head back to the trader, see if I can sell him a couple of these things. Might buy myself even more water, but I'd rather save up for a water filter if it's at all possible. What teas can I make? I can make red tea. If I get one chrysanthemum, I can make my water go a little bit further, but it's barely worth it. It's the problem for the cooking time it takes. Like five minutes out of your day to make that. Hey Joel. Here, have the fort bites. They're genuinely just a liability. How much is the water filter? 2,200, but if I could get some sugar butts, I could probably make that less. Not that I need to do that right now. Uh, it'd probably be smartest to use the Yakuji smoothie again, which is wasting all my money again, but that's because of a colossal fuck-up on my part, so that's just the punishment for the crime. I do want to make that chrysanthemum tea, or whatever it's called, red tea. 
So if I can find a single chrysanthemum, that would be nice. Here we are. Where do I fucking live? I have to be careful not to get into too many fights because I am quite severely over encumbered. But can I come in here? I think so. Ah, uh, level 2 stone axe. There was something up here. Backpack. Ah, just knuckle parts. Oh, filing cabinet though. MD land, cool. Right, let me store some of this shit inside. That water is cooking. Let's head out and look for somewhere. Hopefully I can find somewhere easier. Like a tier 1 I could probably do without any issues right now. But you don't have the luxury of being told where all the tier 1s are if you don't have quests. Or tier 2s might just have to do because they're nearby. This is a tier 1. It looked like a tier 2 from outside so I didn't come over. Hey, water thingies. There we go, that's helpful. Can of sham. I don't recognize this place so I'm going to be careful. Oh no, I do recognize it. It just looks a bit weird from this side. Come in here slowly. Zombie probably won't spawn in until I cross this boundary. Ah, it's on this side. Oh, she woke up. Grab that. Come outside. That's just hiding some dryers and stuff. That's hiding some meds. Anybody actually hiding in the back of that room? Nope. Cool. Definitely going to be someone in here. I see a foot. Yeah, I think it's just a bit of a... Oh, the hitboxes are killing me today. Look, they're not actually hitting anything. They're still not hitting the zombies either. You're killing me, game. There we go. Follow me outside. Then there's a crawler as well. I keep forgetting the tables are terrible. Give me the arrow back. Hey, there's some food here. I'm cooking weekly and some more water. Cool. Let me repair my wooden tools and weapons here. Anyone hiding behind that? Yep, there is. Come on, Steve. Oh, he's dead. Cool. Uh, betting there's someone on these stairs, especially since there's broken glass. Hope this isn't the one with the dog in the hallway. Yeah, no, it's not cool. These doors are blocked. That's nice. Ooh, that was close. There we go. I think I will check this for vultures. They're easy XP. You can kill them quickly. Uh, Pistol Pete and some vitamins. Cool. I'm just going to eat vitamins when I find them. And I'm going to throw away broken glass when I'm trying to take vitamins. Because there's going to be a confusion there that I don't want to happen. So what I'm going to do instead of going around is just break in the doors that the game puts there. I need to put some frames down to actually climb back up that. God, I miss parkour. There we go. Right, so I want to break down these doors from this side. Because the zombies on the other side of them, if there is any, will wake up. And I'll have a bit of door to protect myself from them. Versus trying to climb in the window, you know. Hey. Here. Probably another guy in there, but I'm going to try my luck on this door now. See a nurse. This is the end loot. It's, um... Oh, can I thread that needle? Yes, I can. Let's fight her. Oh, there's someone on her side as well who's coming out. It's a Steve. Alright, I don't know if we're safe yet, so I'm going to try breaking down this door now. Anybody else hiding in this room? Nope. Anybody else hiding in that room? Looks like also a nope. Yeah, what do we have in the loot then? Uh, padded arms, which are better than mine. A great heist book. I'm never going to have 5,000 dukes, but I'll take it. Uh, another home cooking weekly and more whatever it's called. Water was the word I was looking for. God, I need a better axe with this 50% player damage. Bandana there, that'll be good for cloth. Some more glue, nice. Some food pile on the floor here, those are usually home cooking weeklies. This is a good POI then, it's filled with good look compared to that one barn. All the cloth out here that I can. Poncho, ah, I didn't mean to scrap it, but you know what, I'll take it. I could use a lot of extra leather anyway, so. Temperature's not really going to be that big of a deal in this biome. Magnum Enforcer, cool. And a first aid bandage. Check the toilets, we get the water, nice. T-shirt, is that better than what I have? No, it's not. Let's scrap that for cloth. Some bones and cornmeal and a potato. Coffee maker. Some murky water, that's helpful. A potato again. Give me a grill. Nope. Give me a grill. Nope. Could buy a grill, but it's 600 dukes. That's a lot of my water filter fund. Here's another home cooking weekly. That's a uh, grilled, not grilled, charred steak thingy. Some ammo with some 9 mil. I don't know if I have anything to shoot that yet, but... I'll need it later. What's in the washing machine? A cap. I was hoping for some more water. We can make bacon, eggs, and coffee now. That's a good use of my eggs and water that I have. But I'll need a grill before I can make it. I think. Let me see. Bacon and eggs. Doesn't actually tell you here what it needs. Well, I could make it with a pot. I'm just saying. But we've been over this a million times. The 70s die character is an absolute moron and cannot do cooking correctly. Let's head back to my base. I've got Thick spare murky water now, that's a lot better. Don't know if I want to turn it all into red tea. Or better yet, coffee. 
Yeah, I should probably do coffee, actually. It's a much better use of your water, but I also do need it for glue. But I have a bit of spare glue, so it's not too bad. Ah, the bacon and eggs requires a pot. Cool. That's good. I did think it was weird that you would need a grill for that, but that's just what I remembered. Some eggs and meat. We can make five bacon and eggs. It will take all fucking day. Uh, what about blackstrap coffee? We got any coffee beans? Five coffee beans, a little bit of gunpowder. And that's all the gunpowder I have, but we have got some nitrate and some coal around? Somewhere. Yeah, we can make two gunpowder. That's not perfect. Uh, there's a little bit here, though. There we go. We can make two more gunpowder. Hey, it's, it's something. Yeah, we can make four blackstrap coffees now. I just need the water. I'll queue up three. That's good enough. Let's get back out there. See if I can loot one more house. It's dark in here. Uh, is this a tier one? Looks like a tier one. It is the Barbosa residence. I may have been here already, though. There's a little room at the back here. I'm kind of cautious about this. Oh, it's locked. Oh. It's not, not anything to worry about. The backside's just fallen off. Steel tool parts and some cloth, and I can get some polymer. Right, well, let's have a look inside this place. I'm not familiar with it, but it's only a tier one, so how bad can it really be? It's suspiciously quiet. I wonder if the ceiling's gonna break on me. That would suck. Yeah, you're so predictable, game. I'm out here. Let's not activate the other zombies with your bullshit. Come on. Can you not figure out this hole? I'm sure now he figures it out. Right, get a little bit confused by the truck. There's a bin here. Don't, and I'll take it. Who else is around and don't fall from the fucking ceiling again? It's lazy. There's a toilet in there. That's water. I bet someone's hiding in there. Nope, they're hiding behind the bed. Or were they? Yeah, yeah, they were. Oh, some red dye. Oh, that sounds like two zombies. Gotta be careful here. Fortunately, this hole in the wall seems to really confuse some of them. Ow. That's right, come on the truck. Get a little bit confused by it all. The more times you can make the zombies jump or fall in a tight space is good for this difficulty because they have to go through laborious animations to do so. You just need to save yourself the stamina of doing it so that your stamina can regen in time to hit them. More murky water in there. A uh, glue, nice. So it wants me to go onto the roof, I think. I distrust this immensely. I'll let my stamina all regenerate. Yep. Hi there. Ah, oh, there's two. Shit. That's annoying. Let her flop over there, try and do the same to him. Uh oh. There we go. He's fallen down. Probably want to fall off the roof onto this. Let them just pile up on top of each other as my stamina regenerates. Bonk and bonk. Bird's nest here. Egg and some feathers. Some more glue. Nice. Some wood and lead. And I do not want to actually fall into that loot room because I was not born yesterday. I'm going to fight them in the doorway, which is over here. I wonder where they're hiding. Are they not gonna... Oh, they're gonna be annoying, aren't they? Well, let's break open a little bit more. See if I can get... Ah, I can shoot them in the hand, probably, if I'm just very close here. There we go. I bet there's another one in there, but I can probably take that one on my own now. Right, my stamina regen. Anybody in? Oh, there's two in here. That's fine. That's fine. Let's do the same thing we did every other time. Come to the hole in the wall. They'll get a bit confused. That was a bad time for hunger to strike. Now I have a stamina penalty. Heal up. Hide up here. It's the other one's stuck on the inside of the house. I got any food on me? I've got potatoes, but it's like two food. If it's enough to stop the stamina penalty, I'll take it. Fortunately, it's not very easy to tell. <laughs> Who are where exactly? Oh, hey. So we got shotgun book. Nice. We got nothing too helpful. Bleed would be more useful than armor piercing, though. So I will take that. Even if it is just minor bleed. Some water, food, some of that. Oh, let me eat the food so I, like, you know, don't have stamina penalty. Break this thing open. It's nightmarish without a good axe, though. I'm going to be so comically underprepared for the Day 7 Horde. All because of water getting in the bloody way. Uh, steroids and blood bags, let's get that. Uh, there was some stuff in here as well. There's some meds. Nice vitamin. Painkiller as well. Some trash. Medical cabinet. More vitamins. Get some of this scrap polymer. Anything else hiding in here? I think that's everything. Let me take this back real quick. Oh, curtains, hang on. You know, it might almost be worth it. Let me see. How much is one electrical part? Six. Maybe it's worth gathering up all the electrical parts I see and selling them. 
that might be like a good source of income that doesn't involve having to go and scrap every car that exists. I also get a bit of extra scrap polymer from this. So you'll see that they kind of scale a little bit better than 6 per, it's more 6.4. 64 dukes for 10 of these. Unfortunately I didn't find many club magazines today, that would have been very nice. A couple of extra murky waters here, let's make sure we boil those as well. What can I sell to the trader? You know I could sell vitamins, I never use them. And I don't care about getting infected, so let's do that. You could always sell leather as well. That's a bit of a risky play because you might need it suddenly, but it is also quite valuable at this stage. All right, let's go talk to the trader, see how much money I can get. I doubt it's going to be 2,000 already, but you know. You know what, I'm going to scrap this car as well. Might get a lucky level 6 battery and that would probably very much help. I've got an engine, I could sell that, but it's probably more worth to me actually using. Then again, later on I'll be able to get lots of engines, so probably should just sell that. Like, as soon as you get a couple of ranks of salvage ops, and salvaging becomes less annoying, and it's not like I've got anywhere near enough parts to make a motorcycle anyway, and I never make many bikes either. So yeah, maybe I should just sell that for 200 dukes now. Alright, no luck on a battery from that car. Let's go talk to Trader Joel really quickly. There is also that bag of stuff I left here earlier. Let me see what's in there. Uh, a shirt, which is probably more used to being cloth, and a few vitamins I could sell them, that's for sure. Hey Joel. I don't think it would be worth getting sugar butts for this, by the way. don't think I would really make any profit from it. Right, there's uh, a thousand dukes, that's enough at least to get halfway to my water filter. I can probably get the other half of that tomorrow. So during the night I'm going to pretty much just sit in my base and wait, because if I encounter a feral right now I will simply die, and I don't want that. I'm sure there's a few people wondering why I did spend the nights inside when everything's always insane nightmare anyway, but ferals will kill you very easily and they spawn just, you know, on their own out in the wild at night, so I want to avoid that. Because it, it just will kill me. It's just that simple. Tomorrow we'll go and take down some more PYs. At least I have some food and water and we're getting there on the dew collector, or rather the water filter, but the rest of the dew collector is relatively easy. Let's see, before I go... Let me grab those. Do I have any sewing kits? That would be a factor. I will eat some pumpkin. I don't have any sewing kits. Okay, once I get some sewing kits, I will make another pocket mod or two. I'll help with the inventory capacity. I'm just going to sit up here until morning. Alright, it's the next day. I'm thirsty and hungry, but at least I actually do have bacon and eggs and some blackstrap coffee. Uh, this needs more fuel. Give me a second. Alright, let's get out there and start looting some other stuff. Oh, I've angered someone. What tier is this POI? Oh, zero. It'd be worth a loot. You might get some good books and like water from in here sometimes. Someone's definitely above me. It sounds like I've pissed them off as well. Got a skill point here. Uh, what do I want after some of Pommel Peat? You know, big and fast would be smart. That time between club swings can be deadly. Ah, there's two sewing kits, nice. That can let me make my other two pocket mods. So there's there's a, there's an actual poncho as well. Football helmet. I'll probably just stick with my padded for the no mobility penalty. It's quite nice. Another sewing kit. Oh, didn't mean to open chat there. Anyone else in here at all? No one's hiding in the bathroom. We got any water? Not just paper, okay. Bones. Wait, so are we clear then? Oh, there's a bookcase back here, cool. What's in here? Tech planet, ooh. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's have a quick look through the building. Tech Planet again. Some murky water from the coffee machine. Big hitters. Nice. We can make a level 4 club now. Barely an improvement, but it is an improvement nonetheless. You can put two mods on there now as well, so I'll find another one and do that. A little bit of iron. Alright, this place was not particularly interesting, but there is a mailbox as well. Sniper. Okay. This other place across the street is... Also a tier 0, I think, so we can give that a quick look as well. Vehicle Adventures, nice. I'd like two more of those before I can do much with it, though. Uh, Wasteland Treasures. I can now get some honey from trees. Cool. This is tier 0. Let's go in a little bit stealthily. Some leather boots. Some leather shoes. Where's this guy? Is he upstairs or downstairs? Hi! Anything in the toilet? Murky water, nice. No one else on this floor, I guess? More water in there. Anyone up here? Oh, a hunting knife. Cool. Oh, books. Hello. Sniper again. Some paper. 
Off-Road Headlight Schematic. I will sell that because it's 160 dukes and I don't need one. Home Cooking Weekly. We can make pumpkin bread and blueberry pie. The floor breaks there. Okay. Toilet here. More water. Surely there's someone hiding in here. Nope. Anything out here? Does it take me somewhere at all? There's a bag on the roof. That's something. Ah, splint. And a padded hood. Okay, so there's that's it basically in here. Let me go back inside and loot a couple more things. Right, let's take this stuff back. I don't want to be over encumbered for very long at all because it will get you killed on Insane Nightmare. So that was a good little haul. Got a little bit of extra water and a couple of things I can sell. Right, stuff dumped. Let's go back out there. We've got some lockpicks here. Let's try this police car. Sometimes you get mineral water out there. That would help me a lot right now. There we go. That was my last lockpick. Uh, level 3 pipe shotgun. It is an improvement and a first aid kit. Cool. Won't say no to that. More houses over here, which is like what I need right now. Bookshelves and food related stuff are mostly what I'm looking for, so that's perfect. It just comes down to finding houses that I won't die in. My hammer book. Ugh. Another tier zero here. I'm not sure where that zombie is. See up here. Oh, hi, yeah, he is. Someone else is coming, is it outside? Oh, it is, right. My uh, armor is damaged, but getting cloth is quite easy, so we could probably fix it quite easily as well. Which part is it? Probably you, right? Here we go. Get back in there. Anyone else hiding upstairs? Nope, I think we're clear. More sewing kits. Lots of coffee in that one. Another home cooking magazine there, that's nice. There's 12 of those. Probably another one in here as well. Yep. But hey, there's a back room here. Everybody in it? Guess not. Some cloth and a sewing kit. Oh, there's also this area over here. Anyone in here? Nope. Cool. Cooking pot. Medical journal and a random trash bag. Bit of duct tape there. Right, so I have taken some damage. Is it worth eating food? Probably. Continue having a look around. Seeing Arlene over there. Well, at least I know I can three shot an Arlene now. Hey, there's another one of these pairs of tier zeros. Tech Junkie, probably should sell that actually. Try and remember that next time. Uh, scrapping, I will actually read this door unlocked. Okay, this is an actual tier 2. What about this one? Tier 0. Shelves and a kitchen. Everything I could possibly need. I hear a zombie, I don't see them. Where are they hiding? Oh, they're on the other side. Or are they upstairs? I think they're upstairs actually. They were just trying to dig to get to me. Hello? Hi, Mo. There we go. Anyone else home? No, doesn't look like it. There's a lot of loot in here, though. Anyone hiding up here? Oh, the floor's a bit shaky there. Let me go downstairs and investigate if that's safe. Anyone hiding in the kitchen? Nope. Anyone hiding in the garage? This is a massive tier zero. I guess we're clear. Let's have a look. Two lockpicks. That's helpful, because there is a safe in here. A bit of charred meat. Fortitude glasses. I mean, I don't think I have anything better, so I'll take that for now. Then again... 100 dukes right there. Probably just sell them. Food pile here. Ah, some chili. Use that to heal. Art of Mining. Diamond tipped blade mod. Meh. But you need it for the completion, which I do want. One more vehicle adventures. Painkiller. Nice. Let's try my luck at this safe. Well, bad luck for me. I'm not going to sit and bash it open with a level 2 stone axe. On 50% block damage, though. Battle extender mod I can sell. Cool. Alright, I think we're done in here. I'm severely over encumbered once again. I need a bicycle now. Not that it would really help that much. I could take these and scrap them. Okay, let's get back out there again. This is what this game is when you don't have quests. You just kind of come back to your house instead of the trader. There's a dire wolf in the shed if you're looking for a very difficult way to get meat. Ah, two duct tape. Nice. Keep this this time. 100 dukes in there, which is... A measurable percentage of what I'm trying to work toward here. Could be a snake here. Hi. Oh, a repair kit and a hat mod. Keep the hat mod, put it on a piece of armor I find, and just do silly things to its value. Explosives magazine. Book I already know, which I will just sell. Bose Market is not a particularly difficult POI, I don't think. It might be worth going in there. Anything interesting in here? No, but I could use the polymer. Any books in here? Good. Clear this first room. I'm expecting a tourist for some reason. I don't know why. Someone's there. 
no one's here. I don't want to go down there, but I'm going to have to, I think. Well, no, I could probably just break in the side of the place. Ah, I can make bikes now. That is definitely going to be something I need to do. The problem is, and I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, you need a workbench to actually craft the parts. Because life is pain. Um, How close am I to getting workstations up? I need four more to make myself a workbench. That is not impossible, but also it's more than zero, so it's not ideal. Anything interesting down there? I'll go down once I've cleared the rest of this place. Uh, let's see, is there an easy door to smack in here? I hear someone. Hello, Arlene. Oh, that was unfortunate. See, this door looks pretty weak. Let me search this truck as well. Some glue in there. Nothing in the truck. I've already been here, apparently. Uh, let's break this door down then. Oh, I'm over encumbered. What can I scrap? Uh, let's drop the crushed sand. Who needs that shit? Ah, I remember this place. It is a bitch. Hi, Mo. Well, that's annoying. I was hoping he was going to help me with the door. I don't have to go into that fucking basement. Murky water. Don't the uh, don't need gas right now, actually. Let me throw that away. Oh, it's dark in here. Okay. Right, so this is the one where there's zombies in the roof, right? So I probably want to be careful here. That is an interesting miss. Ah, another one hit. There's books here. Hang on. Egg hitters. Nice. More books down here. This, I'll just read it for the sake of it. Uh, right, let's see, how can we activate these... Ah, that's how you do it, yep. <laughs> Just go up there. Here they come. Is he a little bit confused? Get stuck on that. Love it when they start crawling and it completely disrupts everything. Alright, this doesn't look like a fun place. Let's see if I can get any hits on anybody. Nope, oh, nope, I don't think I can. Ladders are dangerous! That is at least these zombies. I can't just go through them. That's cheating. Well, I might have to shoot someone here then. Get away from that biker before I shoot, actually. Yeah, he didn't hear me good. The other one got caught inside. Grr. Wasted a first aid bandage. Probably get another one at the end anyway, but you know. There we go. I think we're clear, at least in the section I'm going to go into. Right, what do we have? A uh, book I don't need, and two first aid bandages. I will... Eat one, and I'm now at an even with what I started at. Medical journal, cool. Coffee, I'll just drink that because it'll over encumber me anyway. Some ammo, I'll load that into this for the same reason. Rifle magazine, a bit of gunpowder, and some leather. A bone. Let's see what else is in here though, there's a lot of containers. Probably a decent amount of murky water in this. Oh, an actual beer, cool. Home cooking weekly. Make pumpkin pie, which I'm probably not going to do. Two glue in there though. Some dukes in here. Bunch of shit in that one. Hey, a grill. That'll save me 600 dukes. Alright, I'm quite over encumbered, but let's try and get back home. Avoid that biker as if he's an instant death. Because he is. He's just a feral in the daylight. Another tech junkie book I can sell. Magnum Enforcer book I'm also going to sell, because I really just need to get one water filler and then I'll be fine. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff here that I'm going to try and sell to Trader Joel. Let's see if it's enough to buy a water filter. Hey, Joel. Wait, we got enough to buy it. I can probably make it cheaper with Sugar Butts if he has any, though. So I should consider that. So, actually, it, he doesn't have any anyway, but I don't think it would save me any money. 300 on a discount for something that's less than 3000 is not going to be an even trade. So just buy the thing. Um, One water filter, please. Now, you restock today. Have you got anything I should like be worried about and trying to get? Doesn't look like it. I mean, a level 6 stone shovel, anyone? <laughs> I mean, a second uh, water filter would be good anyway, but not top priority. Let's go get a dew collector set up. That'll definitely help with the water issues I've been having, at least. Won't completely get rid of them, because you still need water to uh, make glue, and you need shitloads of glue, especially since crafting is probably going to be my main source of better gear. But it'll definitely help with the water, because I can't just buy, like, coffee every day. Like, in the standard game, I buy all the Mega Crush the traders have every day, even though it costs 700 each, because quests just pay you so much money. Uh, and the traders rarely have anything you actually do want to buy. But obviously I can't do that when I'm not being paid by quests. So I have to be a little bit smarter about everything. The, there's one pipe, there's duct tape, there's polymer, there's glue, there's cloth. Let me get all that cloth as well, actually. Uh, what else do you need for a do collector? Oh yeah, three more pipes. I've got two more pipes. Of course I do. 
Why would I have enough pipes? There's more glue there. Uh, but I can get pipe quite easily. Let's see. Sink? No, sink's not the way to do it. Where's a toilet? Bed would work, but I'm on the way to the toilet anyway here. Hit it with my stone axe. I'll get a couple of pipes. Right, let's craft the do collector. Now, the other thing I want to get is a couple of pocket mods. What am I missing? Oh, more duct tape. Uh, that is perfectly doable, though. I only need two. Just do that. Put the polymer away. I don't need that. Some more eggs and meat here. Now, where's my wood? Ah, here we go. Let's craft a few more bacon and eggs. And two more pocket mods. Yeah, I've got my grill now as well, so that's helpful. Throw that in there temporarily. Right, so where do I want to place my dew collector? Because it does generate heat and it does mean that screamers might appear, but it's not like a lot of heat to have like a campfire and a forge occasionally running and a dew collector running, but I probably want to put it on like the roof so they don't attack it. This will do. Uh, we can maybe just put it on this actually. Oh no, it's red, okay. Ah, this is nice and flat, or is it? Well, it's going to float, but it's fine. <laughs> Works for me. Let me put these pocket mods on stuff. God, what a look that is. That's my wrong chest. Um, and on the shorts, there we go. We got three inventory slots. That's pretty good. So we got my three inventory slots open. We got a do collector. We've made another little bump of progress in this episode. We got the forge and the wrench in the first one. We got the do collector and some full set of pocket mods going. And we got food and water largely handled. What I need next is. Definitely, like I said before, just more club magazines so that I can get a baseball bat and that will just really help with the combat. For Horde Night, I think I'm just going to like hide on a roof and just hope that that's enough, uh, but we'll see. But that's all going to have to wait for the next episode. Let me know if you're enjoying the series. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to help me hit my 50,000 subscriber goal. I ran out of air halfway through saying that, but I pushed through. And in the meantime... Special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.